Hey everyone, it's Mace at Ticking Gray Bomb. We are on the cusp of watches and wonders, and I thought, just like everyone else out there, I'd give you a few of my Rolex predictions. So I've got a few, and one can't miss prediction. So stick around until the end. Prediction number one, Rolex will not release any new models this year. And you might say, you know what, Mace, that's not really much of a prediction. They haven't done much of that in the last couple of years anyway. Last year, they replaced the Cellini with the 1908. But really, looking back, that's about as far as they've gone. So I don't believe there'll be any more models this year. I also don't believe there'll be any more tool watches this year or really over the next several years. Could you imagine if Rolex rolled out a Flieger? I mean, that would be something. That would be something for everyone to really lose their minds about. I think that would be really cool. But that's not going to happen. Prediction number two. They will highlight minor modifications to existing models. That may include a Destro, like they did with the Submariner a couple years back. They might change up the bezel. There have been rumors about the Pepsi being discontinued because of issues with the bezel being produced. So maybe they'll do, instead of the Batman, black and blue. Maybe they'll do black and gray, black and silver. But really, nothing that's going to make a major splash, even though there will be an outpouring of support for it. Prediction number three, I believe that Rolex will continue to play with color on dials. I don't think this is earth shattering. Did it last year. They had the Peter Max ball dial. They had the jigsaw puzzle dial. I think we might see some other colors. Um, Tudor just released that pink chronograph. Maybe we see pink here. Maybe that was a little nod to its big brother Rolex. But once again, I don't think this is earth shattering. Prediction number four. I believe Rolex will continue to use and promote premium materials, yellow gold, rose gold, titanium. Rolex will try to upgrade some of their other models that have not had those premium materials. And I think people will have a positive reaction to that. Prediction number five. And this is a can't miss. All the watch journalists, YouTubers, and talking heads will lose their minds no matter how small, tiny, microscopic the changes that Rolex makes to their existing lineup. They'll be stampeding over each other to get to their MacBooks and be first to post their photos or post their articles about the changes. But in the grand scheme of things, these will be absolutely tiny changes but everyone will go insane talking about them, um, generally in a very positive light. And I will admit that I'll overreact and I'll be more of in the uh, probably critical, wishing that Rolex had done something a little bit more magnificent. Cameron, what have you seen today? Nothing good. <laughs> nothing, no, nothing. <laughs> that hasn't been the case over the last couple of years. I'm not expecting it this year. But those are my five predictions for Rolex this year. Thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one.